it's Matthew Swinnerton with the Event Santa Cruz Radio Show on KSQD Santa Cruz 90.7. You might have heard that a couple times during the show. So I wish you can see, I know this is radio and it's not nice to say, but I wish you can see our guest. She is wearing our squid hat. So she's super, it's, she says look silly. I, I love this hat. <laughs> it is super cool. So I'll have to post a picture of her on it. But um, You guys have a bunch over there. Is it, you guys just wear these when you work all the time? Wait, there's other hats? There's other hats. There's like a green one. There's, there's other, other hats? No, not other yes. Hats. Oh, yeah. We should uh, all wear hats. We should all wear hats during the, okay. Well, maybe if we have a break, we'll run over there and get, some, get a hat. <laughs> Um, before we begin, because I'm super excited for this interview, it's PSA time. Man, okay, so we're finally here. And I, I'm sorry, Crystal, we were going to interview you like 40 minutes ago, and now it's and now it's we're at the end here. But Crystal okay. Rodriguez is a makeup artist to the stars in Santa Cruz, right? <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, everyone is a star, so yes. Yes, no, I, I we've seen your Instagram. Everybody does look like they're stars. I love you know what looking at the like the wedding pictures and all that. You know, you just like make people, you make people feel good, don't you? That's why I do it, and I've been doing. It. You can't take me seriously with the hat, huh, Matt? Oh, no, I, I, no, no, it, it no, totally I works. Like this yeah, hat. no, it's so cool. Look at the googly eyes. Um, yes, exactly. So women, especially, are my main clientele, and. Um, women have, I met a variety of women all ages and um, they love to feel good about themselves. Um, whether it's, I have so many stories that I've encountered in this industry that a, a person, a woman, one of my clients just had a lift in their spirits, that their mood just completely turned 180 just by awesome. me doing their makeup and they felt, they, they got a huge boost of confidence. That is really yeah. cool. So how did you, like, I mean, how did this start? I mean, were you just like doing your makeup and it's like, oh, I'm actually okay at doing this. I should do this to other people. Or how did that uh, process No, not happen? exactly. Um, I actually started with painting. I was always doodling no on my homework as a kid. It's just, <laughs> I've painted a lot of different types of styles. I've taken art classes, etc. And one day my sister, um, she just said, hey, why don't you just do makeup? And I was like, well, why can't I just paint? <laughs> and she Wait, wait, real fast, go back. So when you did painting, yes. like, what kind of painter were you? Like, so was this oils, is like what, yeah. I've done oils, acrylics, and I've tried watercolor. Watercolor is very uh, challenging for okay. me, so I stuck with acrylic and oils. Cool. Yes, and it's more, I do more of an abstract, surreal, um, post-impressionist yeah. style. So okay. imperfect, some somewhat, um, dreamlike imperfect just weird stuff i'm you know do you still do a little bit i do i That's do cool. i still paint i definitely incorporate the the techniques and painting onto makeup so it, they work hand in hand now currently i do more i'm doing more makeup than the painting mm -hmm. um but yeah they definitely go hand in hand so my sister was like why don't you just do makeup i'm like why can't i just paint she was like give me a reality she's like okay crystal i mean yeah you can paint but there's a big business for makeup artists yeah because everyone's still going to be ma getting married everyone still has photo shoots it's an ongoing clientele yeah. and i was like wow so i turned 18 and i went into makeup i started working with mac mac cosmetics like when you say mm -hmm. work with Matt, it's like you just like start working with the products or you actually went to school for that? I mean, like how does like, how do you get into the makeup world? Where you yeah, so I started with Matt Cosmetics and um, I started out as a freelancer. So they just called me in whenever they need to fill in a shift. So I actually okay. worked in retail for the brand. Oh, okay. Yeah, and, but the brand is very good with training their artists. They train for a, a, an intensive training for a week and they train every quarter. Okay. So it's constant. And that's where I learned a lot of my skills. Again, granted, I've had some skills with the painting and it just grew and grew and grew and progressed with time. That so, so yeah, cool. and I, so I've been doing makeup for almost 10 years. So and this is like, it's your business. It's, it's, you know, you're this entrepreneur you're trying mm -hmm. to find clients, trying to stuff. That's, that's right. That's not easy. I mean, it's not even, I mean, it's like you're, you have to hustle. You have to get your own clients. Do you find it a struggle at times? Yes. When I move, when I move town. So you just moved I here just, recently. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I thought, and it's like four months, three months? About five, going on five, five months. I've been in, I have been in Santa Cruz for only five months. Yes. I mean, total disclosure here. We're friends. So I've got, and I'm learning all this new stuff about you. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you've been here about that long, but, um, it does take a while to like get into a community, uh, but you've had clients already and you're, you're building it. 
let's talk about again. You know, I want to talk about like why do you actually enjoy it? Like when you like when you when you start working. I mean, because it's a job. It's still work. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So but definitely. there must be something that keeps you going. I love it when they say wow. Yeah. I work for the wow. Okay, um, I work for the wow. Yeah, That's I work for like a t-shirt. I work for the wow. Yes. <laughs> um there's no feeling like it. Yeah. Like yeah. probably to see like their eyes like brighten up yes. and like you know when I, they first like look, see themselves in like in the mirror for the first time cuz you're working on them yes. like look at the yeah. I, I work for the wow, but I try not to work for tears of joy because I'm everyone's everything. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like okay, okay. Do you like prep them first? Like, oh, you're gonna see yourself, and I want you to be composed. Yeah, yeah. I did have I did have tears before. Okay. Um, I did. I was doing makeup for a customer. I was in retail. I was a makeup artist for Mac, and she had burn scars. And I um, I did makeup on her, on her, and I I used a special foundation to smooth out the texture okay. and she was in tears she was oh she goodness. felt so beautiful and so moments like that that's what keeps me going especially brides and weddings they're it's their special day so they trust you to um to, no that's like that's they, a big moment for yeah me. they trust they trust me to um convey and to execute their vision of how they want to look on this special day so you must have confidence because for me, because I, I did photography a lot when I was younger, mm -hmm. and that's the one thing I would not do as a wedding, because I do not want to mess with their wedding pictures. Like, I don't want, <laughs> I mean, that's like their one time, you don't want to mess it. Yes, but yes. this is the bride, and this is like, I mean, I think, if we think about a wedding, it's all about the bride, it's right? It's all about the bride. Yeah, I mean, the guy just stands there. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, the, talking about the wow, it's the wow. It's the, and you do that, you, you, you've probably, you've got to the point where you feel confident enough to do an amazing job on their face <laughs> yes I I love to do it I love to do it so my my passion for it definitely um, shows in the in the end results yeah so um, it's definitely something that I look forward to it is work I have to I sanitize very 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 meticulously that's one of my main things I sanitize um, all the time even in between gigs I just go in my kit and make sure I sanitize everything I clean so that takes it takes work yeah but when I get there it's a huge reward when they just feel so beautiful and they're ready and they're confident because when the woman feels confident then the, the pic it will show in the pictures yeah that's true. they don't feel awkward they don't feel like, like, like oh is, is this you know do I have to fix this or mm -hmm. something it just they, they come across so natural in their photos and that's what every bride wants they want to really shine through who they really are their comfort their love and their wedding photos so is it like kind of like an emotional like yes. win? Like for you though too. It's like I don't know, just like you no know, doing that and like it's over. Are you like spent at the end of the day? Or no? It's just it's just exhilarating, it's fun and it's fun, yeah. it's exhilarating. Yeah, 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 at the end of the day, of course, we're I'm tired, but um like one time me and my sister we tag team a um it was almost like twelve twelve girls at West in West Hollywood. It was one bride and I think she had like she had a huge bridal party okay and we started working from like five or six a.m and we didn't get done till three with no lunch no break like just we were just on, going yeah. just like slinging our paint our paint brushes our <laughs> makeup brushes. brushes yes exactly <laughs> and yes it was tiring but i mean it was it was so rewarding because it, it's a, it's an experience that's really that's what totally. it is all the girls are dressed up and i i love it i love i love that part and their makeup has gone mainstream so I know, I know, Matthew, you're a guy. You don't follow any of makeup artists. So I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but it's like a trendy, yeah. cool thing yeah, on Instagram and it, stuff. It blew yeah. up. So yeah. makeup, the, the makeup industry is now very mainstream. And so... Um, so if we... And we're like, we kind of like... I wish we had more time with you. We, oh, you know, we no talk forever. But so if people want to find out about your work and you know, like get examples or, you know, if they want to, you know, yeah, learn more about your work, where do they go? So I'm currently developing my website, so okay. it's not available now, but I do have, have an Instagram. Instagram. Makeup yeah. at the beach. That's all one word. All one word. All makeup at the beach. Makeup at the beach on yes, Instagram. On Instagram. Well, you really, you have to check that out. It's amazing to see. I mean, even as a guy, you know, I look at the <laughs> pictures like, wow, that is pretty amazing. Yeah, super cool. Well, thank you for being on the show. Thank, and I'm sorry that thank we, you, Matt. we took so long. No, it's okay. <laughs> no, the August stuff was music. great. Yeah. yeah, I really enjoyed them. They're, uh, they're, they're, I love their sound. Awesome, cool. Well, this, of course, was a... Do I, do I look silly? In, in a fun way. Okay. You can take it off. Yeah. No, I want to. Yeah, it's you, just you so fit. much fun. <laughs>